Jordan, just how would you describe your emotions at this point? What does it mean for you to be here? Mm -hmm. I'm extremely excited. Uh, Really special moment. Uh, We worked all season for this and um, long season, a lot of highs, um, some lows and being able to, you know, win the Western Conference uh, with this group of guys is special. Jordan, on that uh, technical foul free throw, did you and Steph talk that over? Uh, Yeah. How'd that go? Steph said he wanted the free throw. So um, there are very few moments, if ever, that I'm passing up a free throw. And if it's to anybody, it's him. So he's a Western Conference Finals MVP. I guess I can give him a free throw. <laughs> you, you've you been here the last three seasons. It's, it's started basically at the bottom. You know, you guys had the worst record in the league. Uh, back to this moment, what has, as a young player, you kind of watching the, the franchise come back to this, what has Steph's daily presence uh, meant to you guys? Um, Everything. But what makes us so special is that it's also everybody. You know, it's not just Steph, it's Andre, it's Draymond, it's Clay, it's Loon. Um, and even adding the vets that we did this year who um, just had basketball experience. Um, and in my short three years, this team is extremely special, you know, not even on the court, but um, off the court and the chemistry that we've had and um, being able just to be with this group, um, it's a lot of fun. Jordan, you said you'd be asking the veterans a ton of questions in these playoffs. What's now that you're in the finals, what what's some advice that you've gotten that you think has paid off? Mm. I mean, it's all new. It's a new experience, and uh, there will be a lot of adjustments um, and just the little nuances, you know, whether it's, um, you know, defensive coverages or timing the score, um, play calls, you know, how repetitive or how consistent, uh, just little things like that, pace. So um, it's one thing to do it during the season, um, you know, through the 82 game season, but being able to do it in a series when you're playing a team up to seven times or playing four games, uh, things change and being able to adapt uh, is something that's truly special that, you know, a lot of the guys have uh, told me. Jordan, when you got here, this franchise was in a completely different place. Not a lot of people thought they could get back here, but dating back then, could you see how you fit personally here? How if you developed you could be such a big part of a team getting back to the finals? Yeah. Um, From day one, just being able to try to put my imprint on a team, you know, in a positive way, whether it was in the locker room or on the court, um, asking questions and finding ways to fit in and learn and um, really thrive by being myself, you know, alongside these vets and um, basketball greats, you know, from the coaching staff all the way to the players. So, um, feels really good to be able to go out there and make an impact, you know, and um, know that I'm helping my team win um, at the highest level, but I wouldn't be able to do any of this without any of my teammates. Jordan, what has this playoff run taught you about, you know, sacrifice for the betterment of the team? Um, ultimately, it's about winning. And when you get to the playoffs, that's all that really matters. You know, it's going to be good games. It's going to be bad games. It's going to be, you know, Close to perfect games are going to be games that you just got to just, you know, scratch up and chalk up. Um, but just staying with it and um, being able to go out there and fight, you know, and get into that war with the guys be- beside you. Um, there's no better feeling. Jordan, for most of your time here, Clay has been kind of behind the scenes, working to get back, rehabbing and whatever. From your vantage point, what did you see as he – worked his way back to the point where he can get back on the court with you guys and play ball like these last four months? I mean, it's Clay. It's Clay Thompson. And even though he was out, you know, for a couple of years, it didn't change who he was. Um, and if anything, he came back stronger mentally. Um, and when he came back, he became a vet, you know. And now he has younger guys looking up to him and watching his every step. And uh, – especially me personally, 
you know, being able just to talk to him, pick his brain and just see how mentally strong he is and how he can just come in and uh, make an impact on both sides of the ball. Um, extremely happy for him. His perseverance, um, his mental toughness, it's insane. And uh, being able to have somebody you can look up to um, every single day, work out with them and text them and call them and hang out with them. Um, it's not too many, not too many things I can say how I feel other than I'm so happy for. Jordan, you, you were here the two years that it wasn't very good. How did the bar change, the expectation change inside once everybody got healthy and everybody was back? Um, I think what makes us special is we always knew we had championship DNA. And maybe the pieces didn't fit at first, the first two years, but um, you can tell that that was the core. You know, everything we did from practice to preparation was all championship-based. Um, and these guys have so much experience and so much knowledge that they're willing to share. And it, um, it really helps. So even though the two years were tough, I mean, obviously built up to this, you know, and we're just now seeing, you know, almost everybody be healthy in the playoffs. And um, essentially it's a new team. But I don't know. Y'all asking a lot of questions, bro. I'm just excited.